How's it going everybody? John McLennan here. I hope you're having a great day and in today's video I'm going to show you how to play People Get Ready by The Impressions. This is a classic tune that's got just a great soulful chord progression. We're going to learn and talk about some sliding fourths and fifths and how I would approach using them in this song as well as just going over the progression that you can practice and play right along with the recording. Now after you're finished with this lesson you're going to be able to take everything that you've learned and move it up one one fret for later in the song when it does what's called a modulation, which is where we change keys. Before we get into the lesson, make sure to subscribe if you're new here. I post brand new guitar lessons every single day on the channel, just like this one. And I also really appreciate you checking out the links below. All right, with that said, let's get into the video. Let's learn how to play People Get Ready by The Impressions. This is a beautiful, soulful song. We start off in the key of D flat, and then we're gonna do something called a modulation where we move all the chords up one fret, but I'm gonna play it for you first in the lower key, D flat, and break it down. Then we'll go from there. Here's what it sounds like. So we're using a number of just rhythm chords here. These are bar chords. We're gonna start out on a D flat on the fourth fret, fourth position here. First finger is on four on the A string and then six, six, six on the D, G, and B strings. And then we're gonna reach up to get this little melody. On the B string, that's six, seven, six, People get red. Then we go to a B flat minor seven, and I like using this sort of Hendrix style thumb chord, or of course Curtis Mayfield played this way, and it just gives you the ability to keep your other fingers free and get into playing like riffs off of chords, which we're gonna talk about as well in a minute. So you've got this B flat minor seven. It's all on the sixth fret there. Then we go to a G flat over A flat, which I play like this. Some people play like this. I, again, like to keep it in the thumb zone for this style of playing. And then you go back to D flat. So it's D flat, B flat minor seven, G flat over A flat, D flat. And the rhythm would be like one and two and three and four and one and two and three so it's like on the beat and then anticipated. Now sometimes I'll mix in this chord as well, which looks like a barred up C chord. This is gonna be on the fourth fret here with my pinky. Again, it's just another way of playing D flat. Four, three, one, two, one. So da di da do do da do 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 do. Now I'll put the other chord in. Then so we do that three times, and then we go. So that would go up to F minor seven, down to E flat minor seven. So that's your three chord. That's a don't need no ticket, don't need no ticket. You just G flat over A flat, back to D flat. You just thank the Lord. So. That rhythm is really just the groove for the whole song. F minor.
Now this is a perfect song for practicing your sort of thumb style of playing. And again, this is all sort of the school of Curtis Mayfield, Steve Cropper, Jimi Hendrix, you know, and then later people like John Mayer that I think John Mayer got his chord progression for waiting on the world to change. Me and all my friends, they're all misunderstood, right? People get ready. It's the same thing. So this gives you the ability when you play the chords this way. To do some sliding fourths and fifths. You know. That kind of sounding stuff. And then some hammer-ons and some pull-offs. So it's a really fun progression to just loop around and practice that sort of playing on. So that's an approach that I would take to playing People Get Ready by The Impressions. I hope you got some value out of today's video. Before you go, I've got a free gift for you. In the description below, you can get a PDF that's over 100 pages long. It's a book I wrote called Melodic Expressions. And if you want to support me, you can buy the book on the iTunes bookstore for $15, or you can get it for free in the description below as my gift to you for checking out this video. Have fun practicing and we'll see you in the next lesson.